What is up guys? We're back and this is with my Pet Cemetery review. This has been like hugely underdone over the past couple weeks. Um, it kind of fell under the Avengers Endgame stuff. It kind of fell under everything else. So this is a spoiler Pet Cemetery review mainly because I don't remember enough to talk about it. But I remember enough to talk about the main parts of it. So we're just going to do that. So thank you guys for being patient. Here it is, Pet Cemetery review. So, In Pet Cemetery is basically kind of a remake of Pet Cemetery, and in my opinion, it's okay. It's not great, but it's okay. There was no point in this movie where I felt scared for my life. There were a few points where it kind of felt cringy and creepy, but to be honest, it's not scary to the fact. In It, there were at least a few times where I was scared. In this, no, not at all. The only thing that was interesting truly about Pet Cemetery is the gender swap. Instead of the little boy dying, the little girl dies. And this is the point where I gotta say, I have a problem with her death in this movie. In the first movie, you see this little kid get plowed by a semi-truck to the point where his shoe flew off and whatnot. In this new movie, the girl gets hit with an oil tanker, and instead of getting run over like a pancake I'm not joking when I say that getting run over and flattened like a pancake it does a little bumper ball Mario Party bounce against her body and knocks her into the grass I don't really know what to say there I really feel like that's wrong I feel like the I don't know I mean versus the old one where the kid got creamed by the semi truck and this one where she just gets a Mario Party bumper ball bounce into the grass. It doesn't really make much of a difference to me. But I just felt like it was really child down prepared to that. I thought the emotion was real that the parents felt for losing their child. That was really spot on. But the fact of the matter is that it should have been a little more gruesome in my opinion. There is a point where he's like, when she comes back to life, that he's combing her hair. And it, he, the comb gets getting stuck. And it's getting stuck on the stitches that like put her scalp back together on the back of her head which is messed up in my opinion but honestly to be I, I don't know I just didn't enjoy it as thoroughly as I thought I would it wasn't that scary it was good for like it was just a good popcorn flick that's all I gotta say honestly though I'd give Pet Cemetery a 6.5 out of 10 good not great not scary but not terrible Alright guys, have you seen Pet Cemetery? Let me know in the comments down below. Let me know and if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, be sure to smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, and comment anything you'd like down below. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.